have some coffee. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> ah, it smells so good in here, you know? <sighs> okay, hey, Heidi, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy ho. Lots of caffeine. Lots of coffee today. Delicious. Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored, and in this episode of What Is On My Wrist, we're talking about a 1974 Breitling Top Time long playing chronograph. The reference is 815, and this one is a uh, full set. It's worthy of some, some talking about these watches because it's on my wrist. <laughs> so, Top Time. Uh, Breitling reference that's out there, typically, uh, it's not a Navitimer, so meaning that it doesn't have an outer rotating bezel. Um, but uh, value based movements typically in the top time range, uh, three register chronographs. Usually, there's other top times that are two registers. We're not going to get into slicing and dicing and chopping up. David, I hope you're throwing fruit at me. So I'm like chopping it up in the air with your pro editing skills. I've also been working out, okay, a lot. So my muscles are getting big. Nick commented recently about how big my muscles were getting. And that's right, I eat a lot of spinach, Nick. I pump iron in the gym. Chicks like it. You know what I'm saying? So, in any case, let's dive into the details of this uh, this amazing and really awesome chronograph. Um, so, I really like top times. I think that there's some really interesting uh, top time Breitling chronographs that are out there that are still a little bit under the radar. Um, often, there are uh, guys that are asking for three register or value based chronographs, and if you're looking at Omega or or Rolex or whatever the price points can be, you know, a little bit higher. Um, but there's still really cool value and horological significance in these types of um, chronographs, and I think they're unique and fun and cool, and they're, you know, just they're pretty badass. So, in any case, let's talk about this really quick. Um, so the nickname "Long Playing" um, basically comes from this specific 815 reference because with the 815, they added an extra long mainspring implemented into uh, the Valju 7736 manual wind movement. Um, the power reserve on a 7736 is 52 hours. So um, what's interesting is normally uh, a power reserve is gonna be either 36 or 48 hours, typically in there. Um, so in any case, there's not a ton of these out there. Um, really, really interesting watch. The other thing that's really cool is the case size is 38 millimeters. Um, the one thing that I have uh, not really an issue with, but it's more of a preference is that some of the other top times are like 36 millimeters and they're a little bit on the smaller side. Whereas like a Breitling Navitimer is typically in the 42 millimeter range, so they're a little bit bigger. I think this watch wears kind of like perfect for um, a, a, a chronograph, a through register chrono sport watch that does not have an outer rotating bezel. Um, so really, really interesting watch. You kind of have like this like inverse-ish panda look or a panda-ish look, I guess. Not inverse panda, but a panda type look because the the dial itself is like this radial silver and then you have like this anthracite, you know, subdial coloration. The text on the inside of the of the subdials is white, which is really nice, so very high contrast. Um, and then the tachymeter is on the inside as opposed to being on the outside like a Daytona or like a Speedmaster or something like that. Um, really cool design of the lugs as well. You know, very angular this specific example is unpolished the you know the case back bears all of the uh, you know the strikes and the brightling branding and everything which is um in many cases especially with the the 815s um it can kind of wear out especially if it's been polished so this one is in really well preserved condition um i love a manual wound chronograph so it's just nice really nice um, one other thing that's kind of interesting to the 815 is um, it, the introduction of a 12 hour recorder. So as you're running the chronograph, um, you have your minutes elapsed here in the three o'clock position, the six o'clock position, you have a 12 hour um, recorder, and then you have your running seconds, obviously there to the, uh, at the nine o'clock position, All right? So uh, just interesting watch. Um, Again, this one is full set, so it's pretty cool. It retains the original, I guess you'd call it like a cigarette box or cigarette carton or whatever, really cool. Uh, and then it includes all of the original paperwork, which is really cool. So this watch was originally retailed in Germany. So this is all 
in German. Uh, Grendel Funkentimen, Drucker, uh, Inter I'm just kidding. Uh, but in any case, really cool. I love a lot of the old advertising as well. Punched papers, signed, it was sold in 76. Um, really interesting that all this stuff is still with it. Uh, so cool, we'll provide a close up of that. Um, but uh, I love a lot of like the old styling of this stuff. It's like very monochromatic. It's almost like pop arty, you know? Like I, I feel like if you blew this up, you could almost like make a poster out of this and it would be just really interesting and cool. Same thing with like a lot of like the monochromatic or like bicolor information dockets. I just think that it's really cool. It's like really, really awesome. Here's an, another interesting example of a top time that's to register, right? So. The, the, it's cool, it's a top time, it's three register, it has you know a really interesting 7736 value movement on the wrist, it's really, really nice. Um, a lot of these watches were actually sold on straps, so they didn't even come with a bracelet. Uh, this is a, a like a black rally strap, which would have been originally sold on, on the watch. So it's really nice on the wrist. Very, very nice, nice piece. And the thing that's kind of nice about uh, the 815 in specific is kind of blends between being a dress watch and also something that's sporty, especially with the rally strap. Like I, I, feel, I feel like you could wear this with a suit or you could wear this like on a Sunday drive. I think it's just a really awesome watch and it's very versatile. So um, in any case, this one is for sale. I'll provide a link um, up here uh, with the little bubble or down below so you can check this out, but you should definitely look at this chronograph. Um, the condition is awesome and it's a really handsome piece. Um, so kind of all I have to say about this one, this is cool, wanted to kind of quickly share it with you. Thanks for tuning in guys. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to check us out and follow us on Instagram uh, for the latest updates from the team here at Craft & Tailored. I'll see you in the next one.